Right, so the next thing that we need to add is just a couple of variables because we're getting ready now to start being able to make this um, intractable with our mouse. So we're going to have a, actually mouse ticked, mouse target is what I should have written there. Mouse target is our first variable and clicked is our second variable. And what I just did there was merge clicked with target to get ticked. Okay, so now I'm thinking straight again. In the init function, we also want to just um, do a canvas on mouse down equals on mouse down with some capitals to make it slightly different and canvas on mouse up equals on mouse up. Great, so I've got those done. Go right the way to the bottom and now I'm going to create those functions. So function on mouse down. If not event so we just get our event organized and we say clicked equals true function on mouse up is even easier because all we say here is clicked equals false. Okay, let's put some spaces in just to neaten that up a little. Good, okay, great. So with that, we've got a little bit further, but we still have a little more to go. And one of the things that we need to do now is, to, now to you know when, when we've actually clicked, we need to do something with that. and we're going to do this every frame. So right at the top of the tick function, before we start moving the ships, we need to check for clicking. The way we do that is by checking to see what is actually under the mouse at any particular time. So the first thing we're going to do as part of this is we're going to just Perhaps if I can type, we're just going to check our clicked variable and actually I'm just going to say if not clicked, that's what the exclamation mark is there, if not clicked and clicked is down if you remember on mouse down and released on mouse up so we're just checking that we haven't clicked and what we're going to do at this point is we're just going to grab the stage mouse x position and the stage mouse y position so we've got both of those we're just checking that we've actually got them. So that means it's definitely over the canvas itself. So we've not clicked, it's definitely over the canvas. Now what we want to do is grab the stage's position and store it in the mouse target. And the way that we actually store that position is by using an easel JS command, which is get object under point. So in it goes. And it requires two arguments, the stage mouse X, and of course the stage mouse y semicolon and we're done so now we've got inside the mouse target here we've actually got where on the stage our mouse actually is so the next thing we can do then is say if we've got that then when we click so clicked if we've clicked and we've got a mouse target then we want to do something what might that mouse target be is what we've got to find out next. And the way that we're going to do that is by just holding some information in a variable. And I'm going to hold a string in this variable and it's going to be the mouse target's name. So earlier on when we created these we gave each 
of the ships going across the screen the name ship plus I which is added from here so that's ship 0 1 2 3 4 until it becomes less than 5 so we're getting that name again here because that's important to us and what are we going to do with it well we actually just want to reduce it down to the first four letters and I'll explain that as we go so to get that we use the substring command in JavaScript and what this does here is we've grabbed from the beginning of the text the first four letters which is ship ship 0, ship 1, ship 2, ship 3, ship 4 we've got that information now stored in temp text. We first of all we grab the name then we reduced it to the first four letters and now we do another if statement and this if statement says if temp text is not equal to null and temp text actually equals ship now why would we be saying at the beginning if it equals null well we've also got on this particular stage we have a background image and the background image doesn't have a name so if the background image doesn't have a name it would return null if we click on that and if we click on that we've definitely missed the ship so we say if the temp text does not equal null and it does equal ship then it means we've definitely clicked on one of those ships so now we can do something with that reset enemy which I can't seem to spell reset enemy and what we're going to reset it with well that mouse target that we grabbed earlier on the thing that's underneath our mouse so we reset the enemy we increase our score by 50 so we can see something visual on the screen and we also say that clicked equals false because we've finished with our click right now and we don't want it to trigger twice good okay so what we can do now is we can say save that and head back into Safari refreshing and now when we click on it we can see the score goes up and everything is repeated which is great so there we have it a very very simple game uh, that just has ships going across the screen hopefully you've learned a lot from that join me again next time for some more easel js goodness thank you bye